Hey everybody, I'm Jacob Castro and welcome to another video here on Jacob's Aquarium on this very, very hot day out here in Southern California. Um, I know it's been a while since I made a video and uh, I'm not going to talk too much about why I left because every time I do, whenever I leave the channel for like, you know, two, three weeks, even a month sometimes, and I explain why I was gone, people freak out and be like, this channel is about aquarium plants and aquarium fish and I will not stand for you to talk about anything else. So to like just prevent, you know, getting comments like that, I'm just going to let you guys know that I was having some health problems, but I'm, I'm feeling much better now. There is a chance this health problem could happen again, uh, but I'm hoping that it doesn't due to some lifestyle, lifestyle changes that I've made. Okay, but I'm doing much better. I was really bad. I was in and out of the hospital and see here I go again. I'm talking about what I'm not supposed to be talking about. Um, but yeah, so I'm much better now. Okay. Okay. So today in this video, I have a plant guide for you guys. And I wanted to talk about a really favorite vowel plant of mine called Italian vowel. Now I sell multiple different varieties of Valcinaria plants, uh, that's the scientific name that they're known by, on my website. Um, but this Val plant in particular, Italian Val, is uh, one of the most fast growing out of the, uh, the, the species of Val that I sell on my website. Um, I don't know what it is, but uh, in every environment that I've grown, this plant in and when I say environment I mean you know aquarium pond you know places where I've grown this plant basically uh, it's just thrived and it grows really really fast it, it produces runners like crazy and uh, you know you can end up with a large patch of this stuff very very quickly with minimal care it seems like you know so it's a great plant and I think it's a great plant for beginners as well and for somebody that just wants a tank that's really overgrown because once this plant gets going it's really really hard to maintain and manage and keep it you know compact in one area in your tank uh, but nonetheless it's a it's an amazing fast growing plant and it's beautiful um, so let's go ahead and get started with this plant guy let's talk about how this plant grows let's talk about its color uh, the growth rate you can expect with it and everything else that we talk about <laughs> typically in these uh, plant guides so first let's talk about how this plant grows italian val is uh it grows exactly the same as other valve plants and what i mean by that is it will produce runners which a runner is a part of the plant that grows along the substrate so um, as i said before in my previous plant guides uh, basically what will happen is the plant will shoot out this uh, tube-like structure from the base of the plant uh, just a little bit above the root system of the original plant which i like to call the mother plant because it's producing a baby you know a runner and uh, once that, that tubular structure uh, gets, um, you know, I would say maybe about an inch, inch and a half long, it produces another plant and then so on and so forth. And so if you can imagine, uh, since this plant is fast growing, um, you can end up with a large patch of this stuff very, very quickly. So um, just based on the way that it grows. So it grows by producing runners. And if you want to propagate that, uh, this plant, it's very simple. As with all runner plants, you just cut the runner off plant it somewhere else and the original mother plant will send out a new tube like structure and produce another runner so it it, it doesn't matter if you cut off the uh, the original runner from the mother plant it'll produce another one don't worry it's not like it'll stop growing completely um, but yeah it, it's very very simple guys um, a lot of people send me questions and they're like oh my god how do I propagate this plant I have no idea what I'm doing and it's just you know once they hear how to do it it's just they're just like oh wow okay <laughs> it's very very simple to propagate this plant okay so now let's talk about the color you can expect with italian vowel now i've seen italian vowel take on many many different shades of green and i would say it just depends on the amount of light and i would also say your water temperature as well and i've never said that before about a plant before um, pretty much because I haven't really observed any changes with my plants uh, due to water temperature But with Italian Val, I definitely have and I'll tell you uh, what I've experienced. So um, It got really really cold out here at the greenhouse um, uh, One night, uh, I believe it got down into the 40s, which was a blessing Because <laughs> it's been so hot over here 
Uh, it was nice to open the windows at night, you know, while you're sleeping. Um, and when I came to the nursery the next day, uh, the, the, my Italian vow was m like a really, really light green color, like almost yellow, which uh, kind of scared me because I thought it was dying, but it was actually perfectly fine. It's just, it changed because it got so cold. Once it started to heat up again at night, I noticed that my plant started to take on a much uh, darker green color. Now, um, uh, a lot of you may be saying, well, that's just because the amount of light that the plant received, you know? Uh, because color in aquatic plants a lot uh, has to do a lot with uh, the amount of light that it gets but I have to disagree with you on that because my plants got the same amount of light you know the light didn't change the temperature changed but the light didn't change you know they get full Sun all day um, so I think it was a matter of temperature so I believe if you have uh, this plant in a tank that's you know cold like a goldfish tank which you can grow this plant in a goldfish tank you just have to make sure it's very well established um, uh, you can expect more of a light green color but in a more tropical tank you know like a discus tank or tropical a tropical tank uh, in general in it you can expect more of a darker green color um, which I'll also say this plant is very very well suited for a tropical tank a discus tank you know a lot of people ask me what kind of plants they can have in a discus tank because there's not too many out there that can survive in warmer temperatures but Italian Val does great the pond you know in the summer the, the dead of summer <laughs> got up to I would say maybe about 80 85 almost 87 degrees and Italian Val out of all the plants that I have in here was the one that was really doing the best um, so definitely a plant that you can have in a warmer tank um, but as far as color goes that's what you can expect so we talked about how this plant grows how to propagate it and the kind of color you can expect uh, now I just wanted to let you guys know what kind of care this plant needs and as I mentioned in the be in the beginning of this video uh, this plant really does uh, require minimal care and I'm sorry I keep itching my face it's just I'm sweating constantly it is over 100 degrees in this greenhouse right now <laughs> Um, this plant uh, really does thrive on minimal care you know it's not a plant that needs CO2 and you know super nutrient rich substrate or anything like that of course as I say with all my other plants guys you know all those extra things will definitely help you know with any plant you can never go wrong using CO2 or nutrient rich substrate stuff like that but there are some plants like Italian Val that don't need it, you know? I've grown Italian Val in just pure sand, no CO2, uh, you know, high light obviously because of the sun and no nutrients and it's done perfectly fine, you know? I would say just the waste from my goldfish and my, my sun filter was enough to keep it going, you know? So uh, I would say that Italian Val is a plant that thrives on minimal care so for those of you out there that are just starting out in this hobby, or for those of you out there that don't have a budget for the fancy stuff, as I like to call it in the hobby, uh, this plant will work very, very well for you. And it's cheap. It's only $2.99 on my website. Um, so it's, it's affordable, very easy to care for, grows like crazy. I mean, what more could you really ask for? <laughs> So thank you so much for watching this video here on Jacob's Aquarium. I really appreciate it, guys. I really, really do. Every time you guys come back time and time again to watch my videos, it really makes me happy. And, and especially, you know, after my absence, it makes me even happier that you guys have stuck around and stuck with Jacob's Aquarium. And for my longtime viewers, you guys are a blessing. I really, really appreciate you guys sticking with the channel throughout the years I've been on YouTube. Uh, it's been quite a journey. It's been a long time now. And, uh, didn't really see myself getting too far with this channel um, but it's grown tremendously and it's affected my life so much um, <laughs> as you can see behind me <laughs> um, and I I can't thank you guys enough for that okay so uh, thanks for watching stay tuned for more videos here on Jacob's Aquarium I really appreciate it if you're interested in aquatic plants please visit my website jacobsaquarium.com and I'm just gonna say this, um, you know, very, very quickly. I have a lot of medical bills now, so any plant purchases will definitely be appreciated. <laughs> it helped me pay off the thousands in medical bills that I now have because of my recent illness. Um, and uh, don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All my social media links will be in the description below. I love you guys very much. Hope you're having a great day. Have fun with your tanks, and I'll see you next time.